Hello, it's Lady and the Frogs, finally back um, with a small haul of stuff which I've got to resell on my business account. Um, I'm not falling out on my top, it's just the style of it, but the bra. It's, an, it's a brand new bra and it ain't right, you know. This is my life. So, I've had one of those days today where honestly I wasn't going to go out sourcing but I had to go and get my husband's prescription because yet again they hadn't bothered to send him a notification for it so I had to go and yell at Boots and um, next to Boots is the cancer research so I had to go in there. Um, still on the heat wave although it's ending a little bit and I thought well I still want to go out early got to the post office at nine o'clock and they weren't open and they didn't seem like they were going to open it's in a shop so there was another guy there looking annoyed and the geezer didn't turn up and apparently he was on the other side of the park so after standing there on ceremony for 10 minutes you know in which time i applied my sunscreen properly but he didn't turn up and I gave up and so I had to walk to the other post office which I just wish I'd gone to first but there you go it's just sod's law so I was like thinking well you know it's all fate there's bound to be you know a Burberry coat will be wheeled out just as I get to the charity shop and it will be destined to be mine but that didn't happen got the medication anyway and um, I've been restrained because I have a lot of stuff. I've been away this week and, you know, down to see my uh, parents who've had family members who've sort of come in to see them. So I went down in conjunction with seeing them and they have donated me a whole host of stock. So I have three big bags of soft toys and clothing, which I need to deal with there. I have lots of Lego. I have lots of my other stuff. I've got, I've overspent and I just need to, you know, I didn't need to go to the charity shop today. So I've been very careful. So I'm just going to show you the things that I deemed were good enough to come back. I left a whole host of stuff like phase eight, uh, you know, nice looking skirts and decent tops and things, which I could make money on. But I left them because I have too much to deal with. Um, the first thing I am going to show you about it is this. Because I think I showed this in another video. Which I know I had the fan on in that video. And I have bought. I have bought a microphone. Because it's something I should have done ages ago. So I have used, I used this eBay coupon. Which a lot of people signed up for. So I'm hoping that that will make a difference because I should have done it ages ago and I am sorry because it's not good enough. It's not good enough. So all of this Lego that I have here, so some of it is in boxes but it's all randomly in. This I got as a jumble trail which was on last Saturday which was all round Trafford um, which is that's where I go to the post office so it was quite nice to go there so I walked all the way over so I walked to the end of where it was to zigzag back to where I was because I'm sort of like on the edge of it um I'm Manchester city centre that I pay my council tax to but I am technically Trafford yeah. because we could hear the Barmy army the other day at the cricket ground that's how close we are so this woman had I thought I was running late because I was around 11 o'clock when I got there and I dropped off the post and I'd gone via one bit, got the map and then went to the other end to zigzag back and these people were just setting up and I saw this thing which I thought was a, a bin full of rubbish but it turns out that it was all full of this Lego so I hauled all this up back and it was pretty heavy in the hot. Um, hot hot sun. So... I said, well, how much do you want for Lego? And she was like, well, I don't know how much Lego's worth. Make me an offer. So 
it's Friends Lego. I don't like Friends Lego, it's modern. So with that in mind, I said five pounds and she bit my hand off. Um, so what I have here, lots of it is in boxes. So I've got that one which is a limousine. I think that one probably only sells 20, but obviously it is boxed. I have got a car and trailer. I know this one because I've had this one and I recognise the trailer. Um, because actually when I sent it off to the lady, she sent me a message one Saturday because part of the Lego was actually broken and she was like, I would never have bought this if I'd known it was broken. And you know, I was so annoyed because it's Saturday morning and I just thought, oh, I can't be bothered with this. And I nearly just walked out the door and then I just thought, what are you doing? Come on, custom service, don't be an obhead. You know, you're behaving like the sort of people who screenshot it and then get all to in a, get the knickers in a twist on Instagram. And then I just, so I messaged her back and I said, I'm really sorry, I didn't send it out broken. Sometimes pieces are just broken in the extrusion process. It wasn't that one, it was like the towing thing that fits on to this. And of course I've got all these spares and I says, I'll look for it now and I'll, it might be, I won't give you the right colour but I'll make sure that I can get you the piece and I'll put it in the post today. And she was very happy with that. I haven't had any feedback, but I haven't had any bad feedback. So that, I know that was 15 pounds that I sold that for before and it did have instructions. I don't have instructions for that one. I just know what that is because I've had it before. Um, and there may be, that there's a lot of other bits in here because there's some very weird little things. However, I think a lot of that stuff, a lot of the things that you can see, well, I mean this, that's very obvious that that's an aeroplane. And I do have the box in here, which I'm not gonna get out because it's wedged. Um, and I do have the instructions for that. I've got a load of other spares as well for that somewhere else. So I should definitely be able to complete that. But I think that one again is only about a 20 pounder. And then that one, this one doesn't have the instructions for it. And I don't think that one has it's on the floor now. So that, yeah, that was that. <laughs> oh, I'm not good at this, am I? Now the horse box is in pieces. I do, ha I am gonna probably prioritize looking through this because I've got so much Lego at the moment and I know where I know where all my uh, spares are for my friend's Lego because it's all so gaudy. So this, what is it? Does it say what it is? No, they never do, do they? So whatever that is, there's probably half of that Lego is now under the sofa. But anyway, so yeah, I've got the instructions for the limo. So that's that one. Then there is this random one here, which is just some police set. I doubt that will be fetching any more than £10. Um, I will definitely have that with all my other spares because I recognise that. And then this is the best thing. This doesn't have a box because it would have been one of these really big boxes, this. So this, I think I'll be able to get about £75, although I've only looked up sold prices for the last month or so. so. It may well be that this is more like an £100 thing around Christmas. So I'm going to see what it was selling for last year. So this is Hotel, I believe it's called. I've got another um, piece of the instructions for it. Does it say what it's called? I don't, you see, the thing is, you end up going on the website to find out what it's called. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know at all. I'm really not au fait with um, Friends Lego. But this looks like it will be really cool. This will be about as big as a doll's house. You know, comparable in size to some of these, you know, some of the Harry Potter, you know, like the Harry Potter castles, 
so many different versions of that. Now I'm sure that I've got lots of these pieces because I know that that's the swimming pool. Um, and I've got various pieces of the construction. It's not coming out. Anyway, I've got most of the like walls. There's a clock there. So I'm quite happy, quite confident that I've got most of these things. It's, I can see that I've got a lot of the modules for it. So there's a bedroom that's made up. And I've definitely got the bit that says Grand Hotel on it. And I've definitely got the revolving door, which I've seen. So I think my investment of five pounds is safe because obviously, even if it, even if I'd just spent five pounds on that, I'd be in the money. And I know that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six sets in here. I, I know that there's six sets in here. And with the spares that I have, which I accumulate, I will definitely have enough for that. So that's, I did get other things from the Jumble Trail, but largely people were asking crazy money and a lot of i did get a few clothing items but then other things i just didn't think that they were worth it so this is what i've picked up today um so these jigsaws these are quite old and one of the biggest there's something in there there's probably a fucking mouse in there Something felt like it was moving, and I don't think it, I don't think it was me plucking the the elastic band. So that will be exciting. You know, we have. I think the mouse is long gone because we did have a mouse in the apartment at one point, and I've been hearing it in the ducting. And then, but I know it's just a visitor, and it's stuck in the ducting, and it was from downstairs. And I saw the neighbour on the on the stairs, and I said to her, "I said, I think we've got a mouse," and she like screamed on the stair and I was like well you know you can put poison down and glue traps I says but the best thing for it is a cat and lo and behold yesterday I noticed you know one day this week when we we're out on the balcony I was looked down through the balcony with the slats and there was a cat looking at me <laughs> so that would be why we haven't got a mouth so anyway digressing again um these they're quite old made in great britain you know waddington's branding doesn't look like this anymore it's probably from the 60s somebody's written on here no piece is missing 24th of april 1979 you know so there's absolutely no chance this is going to be incomplete because you know what could possibly have happened in the last 42 years and this one was checked in 1982 as complete. They had four of these. I left the Ireland one and then they had uh, another one, which I can't remember where it was, um, but it, it said it had a piece missing. The person who'd edited it like that said it had a piece missing, so I wasn't going to pay £3 for that. Um, and I did a little check of what these were fetching. As far as Waddington's map jigsaws go, these are them. And this South American one, somebody sold it for £35. Generally, they tend to sell for about 20 So I thought, fair enough, I'll get that. I haven't actually noticed how many pieces it's got in it. So, what a weird... Is this what, is this what they used to do in the past? You know, it was just like mystery how many pieces it was. It tells you the size in inches. Um, yeah, so they are worth looking out for if you're willing. I mean, I'm willing to sit and do these jigsaws because I sit and do Lego. So I'm willing to sit and do a jigsaw. So I'm happy with them. Who knows? Maybe the price will go up. And then I have some clothing here. So if you don't like clothing, now's the time to sling your hook. Um, this is for me. This doesn't go for much. I've just never seen um, Patricia Field 
out in the field. Now, this is, it's got it on the sleeve here, Rock Aware, which is apparently her line, Patricia Feel. Um, and that's what the label looks like. Don't go picking this up. It doesn't sell for much. I've just bought this from a, it's got these cool lips on it as well. Um, Patricia Field. I mean, uh, this is probably a bit, you know, I've got to face the fact that I'm not as young as I thought I was. But, I'm, you know, I'm really happy to find that. She was the clothing, sort of, oh, what's the word? The clothing director for Sex and the City. So, that's not, that's not the word for it, is it? She wasn't... I don't think it's designer so much in that she just picked out, you know, pieces that would work with the characters. So there you go. Now, this is a piece that I have picked out because of what it is, because of the print on it. So look at this print. Look how amazing this print is. I mean, this is so, you know, 50s, 60s that I absolutely loved it. And I just thought this has got to come back because somebody is going to absolutely love this. It's H&M. Um, it is missing a belt. I have paid £3. It is a small size. But I'd, honestly, if I can't sell this, then I need to get a real job. Because this is an amazing little dress. And then I have got an England top. This, I do know it's 2008. That's not because I'm skilled. It's because, of, well, I am skilled because I have learned to read. It's a dying art reading, you know, as a lot of us will know if we sell on eBay. People don't read things, but it does say 2008 on there. So I was able to look it up. It sells for 20 pounds. Somebody sold it for 35, but you know, it's a bit difficult with a minute to judge how much England tops are actually worth <laughs> because obviously the sales, the solds that I'm looking at are influenced by something that happened recently. So who even knows what the actual sales price is? But I think, my, you know, I, I think that was a definitely worth picking up. And this is a skirt, uh, it's a size 14. Uh, yeah, it's got a built-in wrap on it that needs to come around here not that it's going to make any difference because it's still just going to look like a piece of fabric because i'm sitting on the sofa but a long skirt and it's bowden um i will pick bowden up because bowden is an easy seller like i said today i have left behind um I haven't seen any fat face, but I probably would have left that behind. No, I did see fat face and I left it behind. Um, I left the phase eight behind because I think that's been a bit difficult at the minute. Um, and then I've got a metallic fiber cardigan, which is also by Bowden. Um, and that's uh, 14 as well, Bowden. So yeah, I think that's decent because We've probably only got a, a month or two of summer type activity before people start thinking about bunging a sweater on. Although it doesn't stop anybody around here because yesterday I've seen a lot of people in heavy coats, you know, that make me, you know, it makes you feel sick. But, you know, there's people walking around with masks on in the street. I saw somebody today who had her two children wearing masks in the street out in the open air. And it just, it just screamed of child abuse to me. But, you know, there you go. I just don't think that you should be, you know, I I, I don't see why a six-year-old should have to wear a, a, a medical mask in the street. It's just, it just bewilders me. You know, what's wrong with people? Another jumper there with a star on it. Uh, stars always seem to be you know decent um it's got some metallic thread in it and it feels really nice but it's not cashmere it's got a very small percentage of alpaca but it's very nice and it's white stuff and it's size 12 so 
so that shouldn't be an issue to sell and then I've picked these up for some reason well they're priced at two pounds oh yeah they were in the women's I don't think they are women's I think they're men's I do think they're men's um, and the reason that I know that is because I have just this week put something on have these are men women don't wear this women do not knock around wearing shorts with motifs like that on you know unless you know they're a bit avant-garde and this is this is so green you know it could have a shamrock on it but the brand is salt rock and i've had a t-shirt that i was listing this week so i didn't actually search it on under a salt rock t-shirt i just put salt rock on because there's not many pieces there but i do remember that the jackets and the shorts and the bottoms other bottoms were selling at decent prices so possibly around 30 for that if not 40 I don't know but I was fairly confident picking that up at two and then another thing which isn't weather appropriate at the moment and another brand which I find a bit iffy I've seen jeans in this brand before the brand is uh, police which was absolutely huge in the 90s you know and it is quality stuff I mean it's got a really nice zipper on it it's a double zipper as well and even the pockets are zipped with the logo on it uh, it's not leather it's a PVC but you know three pounds for that type of jacket I don't think it'll hang around long once people are looking for jackets because it's definitely something for the autumn but even you know people are on motorbikes now and the rest of the stuff that I've got is denim so this is me being conservative I have got and I've checked these any floors were left behind anything that had any kind of crotch wear or hem wear was left so these are Levi's 535 they are genuine there was another pair of Levi's which I it, it had the label cut out and I just thought oh, I can't be asked with this and they were bright purple as well so I'm not even sure if it was the intentional colour and they were titchy so I've come back with them you know it's an easy 25 some of the styles though fetch more this is Levi's again but I think they're the women's so these are the 470 straight fit um, and it is genuine I've checked it out with you know checking the studs and the, you know, the rivets and the rest of it so I'm quite happy with them 470 should be another easy 25 I think maybe they have put them on as men's but I think they're women's or they might even be unisex thing are these I think these might be for me it they're by poetry um, I'm not even you know the, I don't often see poetry and that logo looks completely different to what it does normally but I just thought these might fit me really nicely look at this they are so stretchy you just simply don't get stretch like that they might be a bit big for me because they are size 16 and I am more like a 14 and I'd like to get bound back down to being a 12 to be honest because I don't think it suits my frame my size at the moment but you know somebody's going to love the stretch in them because they are so comfortable so I just thought well if they don't fit me surely I've got to be able to sell them and then last of all, I have got Bowden again, and these are jeans. So these are the slim straight. Um, Bowden jeans sell really well. I, I might be able to get 30 for these if it's the style that's desirable. But that is, that's a newer, that's a newer tag. 
I have picked up some bowling like that in TK Maxx and I think that's definitely that's definitely the newer tag yeah that's definitely the, new, the newer version of the Bowden I think I think well anyway Bowden jeans sell so I should have maybe be able to get 30 for them but if not 25 so I'm very happy with that they look almost new and that's all I got I've spent 39 pounds today um that's me being restrained you know I'm quite confident that this stuff will sell quite quickly the things that I left behind it's one of the phase eight skirts that I did leave behind was quite nice but it had a few stitching errors um I found a Fred Perry top which I then noticed a hole in it I found a Ben Sherman polo which was which was okay um but Ben Sherman's become a bit sticky with for me but it was 3xl so I was like well 3xl is the largest size it'll always sell but that had a hole in it so I left that so I have been checking a lot today and various cardigans and other things and things that I've left and I felt as well that there were a lot of resellers out and about and that's generally I don't like sourcing when it's the kids are off because they're everywhere <laughs> there's mothers who are panicked and they've got their children in tow and the children are just revolving around the store and I just don't like it and I don't like being in competition and I don't need to go out so I'm going to like stay in as much as I can until these brats go back to school and hopefully this time they won't be being pinged or they won't have to keep isolating and they'll actually go to, be able to go to school they'll be how, learn how to not be dickheads and get under my feet and you know hopefully going forward we'll have a few more intelligent people in the world so or maybe people will just think blow this and school their kids at home because <laughs> i don't know if i had kids it might seem like a better option at the moment because everything just seems all a bit not still i thought we were going to have freedom and i don't think we've got freedom whatsoever it's freedom doesn't mean that you have to do a pcr test you know when you go to a nightclub on the rest of it and i'm not very impressed by the idea of it i mean i've got the stuff i've got the stuff if i need it I might just do this for a crack. I've heard that if you eat a raspberry and then you do it, it, it comes out that you've got COVID. So you know, now you know it, it's just it's just a fun thing to have. You know, in, in years to come, I might be able to just, you know if I haven't used this, I might be able to sell this. And it's made in China. Bioentic. I don't know. Right, I'm going to do some listing. I have, I've been up since half four. Um, some people were doing a crack deal or something on the street. So on top of it being too hot to sleep, I couldn't sleep because there was, you know, all this, hey bro, hey bro, going on on the street. And then people sitting in their cars going up and smoke. So it wasn't conducive to sleep. So when my husband got up at five, I got up too and I, did various things I put some washing on because I'd soaked some whites and um, trying to get some stains out and then I did some listing but I'll do some more listing now and hopefully I won't have to go trailing around I'll be able to do some more hauls for you next week because I've got other stuff which I haven't shown you which I'll be able to do as I get to it and if there's some decent things in the stuff which I've got from family members I'll show you some of that and I've also got two big boxes I've got a, I've got a box there which I haven't even opened which Hermes delivered just before we disappeared <laughs> away to see my family so I haven't even opened that and that's got some real fantastic Lego sets in it so I do need to get looking at that so I'm going to go and say goodbye and today you're 
it, this is Sean. So Sean's going to say goodbye. See you then. Stay frosty. No, not stay frosty. Stay safe. Steve Bunky.